My name is Holly Duval, and I am an animal sciences major with an option in pre-veterinary medicine. Definitely spending time with all the friends I've made here, uh, goofing off all the time, um, working at counseling and psychological services and learning about mental health awareness and promotion, um, gaining all the skills I have in research in the human-animal interaction lab, um, all my hands-on experience with the animals in my major. Um, I've just had a lot of fun here. <laughs> Yeah, so recently um, I was trying to run data on my samples for my honors thesis and we were trying to do it in-house for the first time ever. Um, I had a really hard time finding someone here that knew how to run saliva samples and get cortisol data from it. Um, and that was really challenging. I had to buy a new kit and it was just a very stressful time. Um, my mentor luckily found a lab out in Iowa State University and we were able to connect with them and the director of that lab is actually a fellow Oregonian and she was so willing to take in the samples for us and run it really quickly for us and I was just really happy that it finally turned out after all the struggles we had with these samples um, and so I'm eternally grateful for that. Uh, I am actually attending Oregon State's College of Veterinary Medicine, so not done with the beavers yet. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Um, all of my animal science teachers, um, my advisor, Dr. Kutzler, helped to really make sure I stayed on track throughout the four years here, and she was amazing at guiding me and giving me the right tools and the right information for where I need to go and how I need to accomplish it. Um, my mentor, Dr. Udell, um, definitely is a saving grace in my time here at OSU. Um, all my coworkers from Trader Bing's Cafe and Ava's were all amazing and kept me very happy all the time. Uh, my roommates were amazing and um, definitely my supervisors at CAPS too were very beneficial to my time here. My name is Isadora Costa Cardozo and my major is Political Science and International Affairs. So many. Um, I think my greatest memories will be uh, with the DS team I created, 3D. Um, it's just a community of women of color that we do everything together. Since we started the group, uh, we see each other every single day and walking around campus seeing each other, uh, but mostly the performances. So um, we performed over 15 times just this year and and also practice time so the behind the scenes um, and before going to the stage the conversations we have I think all of those things. Um, we actually face a lot of challenges with that DS team. Um, a lot of departments on campus were trying to shut us down, we're trying to do everything that we wouldn't exist anymore. Um, so the way we overcame is that we came together as a community. Um, we spoke up about it, we never put our heads down, we never gave up, we always kept fighting um, just for the right to dance, <laughs> which is uh, funny because all we want to do is dance and I do understand that dance for us represents much more, it's about identity, it's about resilience, it's about many things, um, but I think through the community that we have, we were able to survive, but also to thrive. Um, so I'm trying to find a job right now. I want to work for a year or a few years uh, and then go, go get my master's in human rights or even considering law school, maybe. I'm not sure yet, but definitely working in nonprofits, working with uh, immigration, refugees, undocumented immigrants. Um, yeah, so I want to uh, stick on the field of helping people out. So the DC family, the Diversity and Culture Engagement Department, every single person in that department has given me unconditional support. So all of them, all of my mentors, um, also all of the 3D girls, every single one of them have challenged me to be a better director, to be a better leader. Um, and also my family, um, who is not here, it is, they're really far away, but um, I think um, knowing that they were there for me was very important throughout.
throughout my years here. My name is Nicole Carlson and I'm a kinesiology major. The biggest thing I'd say is the people that I've met here, especially in the ROTC program. There's been so many people that have had such a positive impact on my time here and the shared experiences that we've had, uh, whether that be field exercises or just morning PTs. The day-to-day -day grind for the past four years has definitely, it's gonna be a good memory looking back. Uh, there's been a lot of challenges, I'd say. Um, focusing on fall term this past year, um, I came back from officer candidate school and my parents moved away from Vancouver, Washington to Texas. Um, and I was the battalion commander for ROTC and long distance with my boyfriend, so I had a lot of personal factors going on. Um, pretty heavy course load, but I, I used my resources, relied pretty heavily on my friends, um, and kind of just had my nose on the grindstone and just kept going every day. Um, I think it's important looking big picture going into the Marine Corps that these small challenges aren't going to be nearly as difficult as what I'll face in the future. So I kept that in mind to keep everything scaled down to what it really was. So when I graduate, I'll commission as a second lieutenant in the Marine Corps, and I will be headed to the basic school in Virginia, um, probably in the fall sometime. That's always a loaded question. There's been so many people. Um, of course, my, my family, uh, my brother graduated here two years ago, um, and so he kind of set the standard of going to college and choosing OSU, and I've always wanted to follow in his footsteps, so I followed him. Um, I have an incredible uh, boyfriend, very supportive of everything, and he's been here for me for the past year and a half. Um, and then all my friends in ROTC and the staff that has challenged me to pursue leadership opportunities and um, tell me to just get after it, you know, they're always there to provide feedback and that's what we need, especially going into the career that I'm going to.